Hey guys, it's David Grover BHA here bringing you a new video. So a few months back, I picked up this Sonoff Zigbee dongle, uh, specifically because I was trying to move off of my uh, SmartThings hub, which I was using for Zigbee and Z-Wave. I already had a Z-Wave dongle, but I didn't have one for Zigbee, so I thought this one would be a, an excellent addition to uh, my Home Assistant setup. Uh, specifically because I know that down the road I would be able to upgrade it uh, to support Matter uh, Thread and do both Zigbee and Thread from within Home Assistant. So we're going to take a look at upgrading that dongle today and get it set up with Matter in Home Assistant. Here we go. A tutorial uh, online to kind of walk you through how to set it up and the, great, the cool thing about it is you can actually now update the firmware on this dongle uh, without actually having to open it up or anything you just plug it into the USB port on your computer so you're going to access this website and it will kind of go through there uh, and make that connection and do the upgrade for you and we're going to walk all the way through that today and show you how that works it's actually a very simple process once we do all that, then we can get it set up uh, back at Home Assistant. We'll show you how to get it set up with Matter as well as get it set up with uh, Zigbee as well. So let's get started. All right, first things first, we need to download the driver uh, for the USB Zigbee dongle uh, so that our computer can communicate with it. Uh, so we can get the driver here on Silicon Labs website. I'll have a link in the description below, uh, but you'll want to pick the correct driver for your operating system. Um, so I'm on a Mac, so that's the one I will download. But after that, it's pretty simple. You just double click the DMG and you're going to run through the install. Uh, once it's done, you can close it all out and you're ready to move on to the next step, which will be upgrading the firmware on our dongle. All right, so using the web flasher, it is very easy to upgrade this firmware and put the custom firmware on it. Uh, since we have the driver installed, the computer should be able to see the dongle without any issue. The site doesn't uh, work well with Safari, so you will want to use something like Chrome or Firefox. But basically, you're going to plug in that dongle and then we're going to hit connect here on the website. Uh, if the driver is working correctly, you should see it there in the list. And so we'll select that and hit connect. It's going to take it a minute to make the full connection, but after that, we're going to choose change firmware down there at the bottom. And then we can select multi pan from the list. We'll hit install. And there should be a progress bar that pops up on the screen displaying the progress of the install and it goes fairly quickly, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, but there we have it. Installation success. Uh, we are good to go. So we can hit continue here. And once we've done that, then we can go ahead and unplug the dongle. We now have it set up so it will not only support Zigbee, but also Matter Thread as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll get this thing set back up in Home Assistant. Now we need to get the dongle set back up to work with both Matter and Zigbee in Home Assistant. Uh, so for starters, since this will now be handling both, we need to use a new add-on called the Multi-Protocol add-on. Uh, now I already have mine installed, but it should come up with a quick search of the uh, add-on store. You'll be easy to find it. Uh, once you get it installed, you will need to make sure that under Options, that you select the Sonoff dongle under devices. Uh, you'll want the baud rate to be 46800. Uh, let's see, all the other settings should be pretty much left alone. You shouldn't need to change anything else. Now you're gonna wanna make sure you save the settings. Uh, and once you have them saved, you can start the add-on. Now I'm gonna restart mine since I did just upgrade the firmware. 
And once it's up and running, we should be able to go over logs and we can make sure that it's working okay. And as you can see, everything looks good in the logs. I think uh, we can now move on to the next step. Uh, which will be uh, setting up the matter add-on. Now again, I already have my matter add-on installed uh, and it actually looks like it has an update here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that through. We'll fast forward through that. There's nothing special that you really need to do in the matter configuration. It's all just default. So we can leave it here and just go ahead and start the add-on. Now again, I already have mine installed. And we can look in the logs on this as well, and it looks like everything is running okay. So I think we are good to go here as well. And the last step is going to be our Zigbee uh, configuration, and I use Zigbee to MQTT. That's the add-on that I'm using. So uh, again, you can find that in the add-on store if you just do a quick search. Uh, but under configuration, the main thing that we need to change here is under the serial section, we'll need to set the port uh, to point to the multi-protocol add-on. Um, and the adapter needs to be easy SP and I'll have the exact, uh, information that you need in the description below so that you can just copy and paste it in there, but you'll want to save that. And then we'll be able to start the add on, or in my case, restart the add on. And of course we'll check the logs here just to make sure everything looks good and all looks good here as well. So I think we are okay. At this point, we now have support for both Zigbee and Matter or Thread uh, in Home Assistant using this dongle. I'm ready to start adding Matter devices. I obviously already have Zigbee devices set up, so, uh, so I think we're good to go. Hopefully this uh, tutorial was not uh, too difficult to follow. Anybody that was having any problems getting this set up, hopefully this will make it a little bit easier for you guys. I will have all the links below to everything that I use to get this set up. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, head over to my Spring Merchandise page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're looking for the latest smart home gear, you're going to want to check out Smoman. I'll have a link in the description below. You head over there and see what deals they currently have running. And if you're looking for the latest smart window treatment, you're going to want to check out Smart Wings. I'll have a link in the description below for them as well. Head over there and see what deals they currently have up. If you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, check out Robin. If you sign up with that link in the description, you and I both will get a free share of stock. It's a win-win for both of us. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.